I was reassured by midwife, like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, you were doing this before you were pregnant, so you could keep doing it. And, you know, kept an eye on me and everything was fine. And um, I even did the CrossFit Open pregnant with him. Holy shit, really? And I, and I won. Are you serious? <laughs> In the, for, for the gym, you know. Were you, like, showing, though? or were you Yes. Just... I was, like, 20, 21 weeks. So I had a bump, especially with my third, with your third kid, you just show you show more and more the more you have children. So I had a bump. So for sure. I hate to be competing in that with you. And I lost to a <laughs> pregnant girl. It was pretty fun. Um, and um, and they when I did that, they made sure like I was breathing. I wasn't like overexerting myself. So it was fun. Did that. Um, had him. Uh, it was a, you know, thankfully easy, easy labor. And he was actually. Um, so my babies are usually like eight pounds, um, eight plus pounds. This one was not even seven. He was like six something. I'm like, my baby, he was so little. <laughs> but no and I thought this is because I was working out. But no, they're just all different. And I was just eating a lot better, too, uh, the third time around. I know he was healthy. And um, then I got back at it. And this during my pregnancy is actually when I started um getting a lot of reposts from like different like fit pregnancy like instagram that's a thing yes it's like a whole little like world mm -hmm. so there's these accounts with like millions of followers of it's called like, fit pregnancy or fit for two uh fit for mom fitness like a lot of different stuff oh, cool. and i was getting reposted a lot because i would post my videos of me working out with brock like when i, when I was pregnant and that's when i started getting a lot of attention on my account um by moms that work out cross the community and that's kind of where it kind of blew up, where mm -hmm. it, where now where my Instagram is, where it's at now. Um, I did, it did kind of skip over. So after I had the miscarriage and I got pregnant, um, that time that I was taking it easy, it was like a couple, I couldn't really stay away from CrossFit. Um, so I, I took a break from CrossFit for like the first two, three months and I was working out on my own at like Snap Fitness or something. Mm -hmm. And I took a pre, uh, a pre post, um, uh, pre and postnatal um, fitness um, instructor course. So like a personal training certif certification for prenatal fitness. And so you could post. be certified. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I did that so I could train myself properly because remember I thought that, you know, the miscarriage was a cause of me and I was really hard on myself. Yeah. Um, but then when I got pregnant again, I'm like, I don't want that to happen again. I want to be able to train people pregnant and after pregnancy and why not do it on myself like first to see, you know, mm -hmm. like, to see um, how the benefits of it helps when you're pregnant. So I did that. And then um, I was doing it. It just wasn't the same. Like the environment was a little different. And that's when um, Stephen reached out to me. Yeah. He was like, hey, you should come try Hidden Valley. Cause so I, you, you didn't know Stephen before this? Like as a friend from school um, or anything? Nope. Nope. Oh, wow. Um, I just knew him like through the CrossFit community, like on Instagram, like on social media. And then um, when when I stopped going to the gym prior, um, the CrossFit gym prior, and I took a break and was like doing things on my own and studying to be a personal trainer for to specialize in pre and postnatal fitness. And uh, that's when Steve was like, Hey, you should come try out. And this is like during the open time. So around this time, like, oh, okay. it's like four years ago. Um, and he was like, uh, yeah, you come out here. We're going to do the open blah, blah, blah. So that's when I started doing the open. Was this out at the ranch? Yeah. Oh, nice. And then you got I, to see that. So I became a member, did the open. I won. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I, I took a little break after I had the baby and then I went back and I, and I would drive like 20, 30 minutes every morning, like pregnant, like five in the morning to go do the 5 a.m. class because that was the only class I could make it to. Uh, but it was worth it, even so, even though we're outside in the ranch. <laughs> but being yeah. pregnant, um, I'm pretty sure you had to scale a lot of your workouts, right? Like I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can do a burpee, right? Uh, <laughs> no, I would say, yeah. So we would do like we would put like little parallettes. <laughs> So I would do like the push up still. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I was like, it's like a deficit. So like my belly wouldn't hit the ground. It would, you know, oh, yeah, be yeah. right above the ground. So little things like that. And uh, so Stephen was really good about that training me, um, especially because he he um, he knows like where I was prior to getting pregnant and then what I was capable of pregnant too. Mm -hmm. So um, so he trained me when I was pregnant for CrossFit. And then 